Oh, I said I'd do Mario Clash next, so here we go. I have absolutely no idea what I'm about to get into, to be honest. Other uh, than I think this is supposed to be sort of like the original arcade game. Or Mario Brothers arcade game. as harsh as the black and red, and it's not as ugly as the black and white. This game even has an intro cinematic, basic as it is. Clash Tower, okay. Honestly, I didn't even know this game existed until a few years ago. I can go up to level... 40, apparently. I have no idea if that's the last level or just as high as I can go. Would help if I had the slightest idea if I knew what I was doing. Throw the regulars at the spikes. I have no idea what a technical bonus is unless it's hitting multiple enemies at once. I honestly only know about this game because I watched a video that was every, essentially a video about every single Virtual Boy in one, which there's like. 10, plus a couple of Japanese exclusives. One of which, unfortunately, we didn't get, which is a horror... a first-person horror game that was actually kind of interesting looking. I guess I don't have to kill the regular Koopa Troopas. That's kind of weird. I have no idea what the difference between these and the, uh... Spike Fuzzy Beetles. Uh, how do I get off this? Okay. I thought I was... Maybe it's because I'm not playing in 3D, but I thought I was in a background panel. If I, and if I fell off that, I'd just die. And I can't kill these, question mark? Oh, I have to hit these. From across. That's kind of irritating. Again, I think that for some reason that just looks like it's a background object, and I just jump in it. And that's gotten me killed twice now. If I can hit it again? Yeah, I can hit it again. I don't know even how I get lives in this, if, or even if I can. That's how I get a technical bonus 
from throwing it into the pipe and hitting something on the other side. Man, that even sounds like the old walking sound from the arcade game. Actually, I suppose that sounds more like closer to Donkey Kong. Oh, bonus level. Maybe this is how I get lives. Yeah, this really feels that it feels like it's meant to have actual 3D on. It's hard to tell how high those coins are. Oh, that's unfortunate. We have to get all of them to get a life. This is gonna screw me up. Yeah, this definitely feels like an old arcade experience where once you've played for like 10, 20 minutes, you've just experienced everything and it's just gonna get... Unless you like score attacks, it's just gonna get boring fast. Oh goody, now the fire from the arcade game is coming in. Man, it is so hard to tell where that... where it's gonna go when throwing a cross. I don't know if having 3D would help or not. Yeah, this is just getting frustrating. Like, I guess it's a more interesting game than Mario Tennis, but... It's honest, again, it's more tedious than fun, because it's just really hard to tell where the shell's gonna go with throwing it across. Now that I have to go to the upper level to get a shell, it's just making me waste time. And now this is just going to move fast. Now we got Paragoombas. At least that's what I think those are. And of course I can't hit them directly. 
And I got jumped. Well, that's Mario Clash. I really don't feel like playing more. It's, unless there's some sort of boss stage. I've probably seen most of what the game has to offer. That definitely feels like an arcade-like score attack. They really should have just made the, like a full Mario game instead of that. But then again, I'm also not a fan of the original arcade game, so... Someone who was would probably have more fun with that. But that's probably the last Mario game I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do next, to be honest, so we'll see. May or may not do more Virtual Boy games, but who knows.